so overcome with rage and jealousy, he condemned his own daughter, Annalisa, for sharing her mother's sinful blood. He locked Annalisa in the basement, telling her that the world outside was a terrible place. The coming inventions of the time, telephone, automobile, electricity, were all the work of the devil. He convinced Annalisa that the only way for her to save her mortal soul was to never leave the house again. But the caretaker of the house, Mondrik, a servant of Nigerian descent, took pity on the girl and would sneak down to the basement as often as he could to keep her company, to read her stories, bring her nourishing food, but on the night he planned to help Annalisa escape, Reverend Suffolk was waiting for him. With the help of two of his men, he had Mondrick strung up and burned alive in front of Annalisa's own eyes. And that was when the curse began. The Reverend was stricken with polio and confined to a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Father and daughter never left the house again. No one had the courage to come out to the house until 25 years later, when the old man's remains were recovered. But Annalisa was never found. <laughs>